we have completed chapter 1 and 2 in civics. Now it is chapter 3 from the civics and topic of the chapter. Why do we need Paryatas? We all know that in democracy the system is ruled over the government is done through an institution known as Paryatas. What is the main work of Paryatas and how it works? In this chapter we shall discuss it. The first work of the parliament or legislature is to make laws. So the decision making place in democracy really exists in parliament. The people of any country where the system is democracy is hollow. It means the people representative sit there, discuss, and that is the region. This is very important. Whereas we shall see that what are the various states, how the members are coming, and what was what is their name work, we shall discuss. So parliament generally in the democratic system started from France. The organs of the government, we know that three. Executive, legislature and judicial. So parliament you can say that the names what is given here, that is legislature. So no doubt the place where the representative of the people sit and discuss this matter in our country also is called Parliament. So topic in year 5, why do we need Parliament? So in a country where democracy is required and it is adopted, the system of government must be there a Parliament. So, we are seeing how the position of our country changed in, on 15th August 1947 when our country got independent free from the British. Before this, our country was under the rule of British war. Today is the situation in which people live in fearful condition. They got through this independence, freedom, equality and right to participation in decision making. As earlier, the main focus over the parliament we have seen. How this place is used to make laws, to decide the matter or the country's bank interest. Under colonial rule, people who live, they had no right to criticize the policy and rule revolution made by the British. But now it is not the same. At time there were the conditions prevailing in the country was very critical. But now when the country got independence and it started to work to function as a democratic country, the first feature is parliament. And through the parliament we see that they discuss the matter or the nation importance, what is required for the country or the people for their benefit, it is laws which is made here. So generally, under colonial 
the value of parliament and back end what was their condition was not free people of india had not privileges to choose their leaders in 1885 the year in which congress party was formed indian national congress the main political party during the national movement demanded for legislature where elected representative could sit there and discuss the matter for nation to make a laws for the country's welfare the government of india act which was passed in 1909 that is called martin morley report in which is some seats here given to the people for their contesting but that time all the adults of india were not allowed to use their voting power so real democracy was not in that time they allowed to contest the election in some seats of our country but that was under their monopoly means british we are seeing that situation was not well as we have discussed the introduction of the parliament why it is needed as in our country we have seen that what during the struggle movement for independence many sections of the party participated without thinking the religion and the caste they they participated in the movement to get independence for the country and after getting independence it is saying here it was considered what to give right to all means who are living in our country in participation of making decisions they had what for the getting independence after independence their right is must to make in decision making the government is not free to do what it likes कहने का मतलब सरकार इतनी आजाद नहीं कि जो चाहे वो करे उसको वही काम करना है तो जनता के लिए उसके भलाई के लिए सही कहता है गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट फ्री टू डू व्हाट इट लाइक्स बट केयर द विशेष ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ जन आकांक्षा यानी जो जनता है देश की उसके अनुसार से चलना है सरकार बनने का ये मतलब नहीं होता है कि वो अपनी खुशहाली के लिए सोचे और जनता का हित ना हो द ड्रीम एंड एस्पिरेशन ऑफ द फ्रीडम स्टंड वी आर मेड कंक्रीट इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड लेट डाउन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एडल्ट फ्रेंचाइज द राइट टू वोट इट वॉज प्रोवाइडेड टू ऑल इन अवर कंट्री you are saying that at the time of election the people who are 18 and above they got the right to vote through this system parliament make such laws how the benefit the rules regulation for the common people in country should be After the discussion of the parliament introduction, it is the second point: people and their representatives, like people who elect their representatives and representatives come to parliament. So, demo in democracy, we all know that the system of government is for the people, by the people, of the people. So, people get means the citizens. Main the theme of this 
democracy. And in democracy, the people represented the sit here in the party. It says here the take up point in democracy, most important, is the consent, desire, that is desire, approval, and participation. They will discuss in locally and then they decide to choose some, someone who goes to parliament as representative. So here people desire is important, their approval is important and participation of people because democracy earlier we know that people have everything, the right. It is the decision of people that creates a democratic government and decides about its function. So what is the system? How they work? What their, their main objective? It is all of the people. People have right to choose the representative and representative means उनके प्रतिनिधि जो वहाँ बैठते हैं, बहस करते हैं, उन्हीं के लिए वो जिनको वो चुनता है, उन्हीं के लिए तरफ से उनको बात करते हैं, चाहे नियम बनाने के लिए काम करें। The citizens is the most important person, and that in the principle the government. It means everything. The main pillars of the democracy is the citizen. And citizens is the main point where the discussion what is held for the country and country for whom the people. A parliament is that, parliament is that means. Okay? And we are reading chapter 3 in civics. Chapter mean why do we need parliament? So here in the context of people and their representative representatives, we have discussed the next point is here. People elect their representatives. We all know that the constituents for this every constituency a person is elected to the election. They elect through the elections, the people of that constituency choose one representative who goes to parliament. Majority party means the party which means the maximum seat in parliament forms government. They have right. The groups of different political parties choose their power. So how many people, how many representatives in their side, which have the highest, largest, then they are allowed to form the government. Many types of government functions in letter. The parliament made up of all representatives together controls and guides the government. So here, main one, the parliament is a place where government Functioning, it is the transparency seen there through the debate, what takes place there, discussion, and the announcing the government who are in the majority party and form the government, they are showing their loyalty towards the nation, what they are making. They have to disclose everything. Would they do for the welfare of the common people, for the country? And it is asked by the opposition, the person, the party which does not obtain the maximum number to form the government, they are called opposition party. To this, the ruling party and opposition party discussion is made and such like activity is good for democracy.